has already taken care of. There are some things that we worry about that God has already fixed. He, I heard it this morning, out of the book of Hebrews from Melchizedek Sexton, that we have a great high priest that was in all points tempted like we are, yet he is without sin. Uh, you don't go through nothing that the Lord don't know about. And you don't deal with nothing that God don't understand. For he in all points were tempted like we are, yet without sin. Uh, he know your aches, he know your pains, he know your ups, he know your downs, he know your ends, he know your out, he know your uprising, he know your downsetting, he know all about us. And there's nothing that we deal with that's too hard for God. In the text, in the text that prophet Isaiah writes to the nation of Israel, Israel had been rebelling against God. And he had already told them that judgment was coming. But when he get to the 52nd chapter, he reminds them that no matter how bad things are, how much you have messed up, uh, that God will rescue his people. Uh, he, he had told them that they're going to be carried off to a strange land. But no matter where they are, God knows where they are. And that God will meet them right where they are. That he will deliver them and he will send them a deliverer. But before he closed out that second chapter. God reminds them also that the servant that he sent will be despised. And Israel, Israel, just like so many of us, missed the whole point of what God was trying to say to his people. Uh, they misinterpret the scripture of what God was really speaking. And when you get to the 53rd chapter, he says something like this. Who will believe report. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Uh, uh, because Israel really didn't look for a king coming at that time. Uh, they thought this scripture was pertaining to them and their situation. And, and, and they went to prophet say, who will believe our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? The main point is they still didn't believe. Uh, and you got those that can get their breeze on. You got those that can get that shout on. But when the rubber meets the road and it's trying time and trying time, you'll be those that really don't believe God can do what he said he can do. Not only, not only did Isaiah say it, but John said the same thing. When you go to John chapter 12 and verse 38, uh, uh, John said, but those Yet they believe not on him that the 